Hey, welcome to A Well-Traveled Life with Jonathan and Jennifer. Jonathan's a good-looking guy. This is my beautiful I wife. I concur. I concur. Anyway, uh, <laughs> this video is about our visit uh, in Falkirk to the Wheel, which is a magnificent uh, contraption that uh, basically acts like a vertical lock, if you will, between two sections of a river and uh, two canals, a canal or a canal and a river, the Fourth and Clyde and the Union canals, right? And it 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 moves boats from the higher elevation to the lower and back and forth, and it's really incredibly cool. I think Falkirk is the site of a battle uh, fought in the. 15th century, I think, uh, William Wallace Scott's mm -hmm. defeated uh, uh, English there. So that, that is definitely worth visiting that site as well. And, th and then the final uh, sort of tip is when you're at the wheel, is that the name for it? The, the Falkirk the, wheel? Mm -hmm. Falkirk wheel. At the back end of it, this, if you follow the canals on the upper elevation, that is a section of the Antonine Wall, which is the uh, earth and uh, earthen wall that the furthest northern wall that the Romans built uh, that was used for a period of maybe 10 or 15 years uh, to keep the Scots or the Picts or whoever they were fearing on the other north side of that wall out uh, in it's, it is earth, and there were uh, uh, moats or uh, depressions Dishes. on both sides that made it even more effective. Uh, and like I said, it was abandoned pretty quickly. But you can walk and hike on a section of that. It's pretty, pretty dramatic. So you might try that. And you'll see that name, Antonine, on one of the boats that you can take up into the Falkirk Wheel. There you go. Enjoy. The Falkirk Wheel is the world's first and the only rotating boat lift. It was designed and built to connect the Forth and Clyde Canal with the Union Canal, which allows coast-to-coast -coast navigation across the center of Scotland. The structure stands 115 feet tall, and it requires the power of eight kettles to sail boats through the air and transfer them between the two canals. The wheel replaces 11 locks that used to connect those canals. It opened in 2002 as part of the Millennium Link project, which reconnected the two canals for the first time since the 1930s. The wheel has not only been described as a feat of engineering, but it's also a work of art. And it's now an iconic Scottish landmark, which attracts over 500,000 visitors every year. The canal side of the wheel is a wedge-shaped building that has windows all along the open edge and is a visitor center which is open to the public at no cost and also houses a cafe with views out to the wheel. If you want to do more than just watch the wheel, you've got a couple of options. The first is the full experience, which will take you about 50 minutes and you'll get on the boat down by the visitor center. It will put you into the wheel at the bottom, swing you up into the air to the top where you will then join the Union Canal. After that rotation, you'll go down through the open air tunnel and into the closed rough castle tunnel which has a lighting installation on the inside. You'll pass through that to the Union Canal where you'll do a 180 degree turn and then come back and repeat the same journey down to the bottom again. The ticket price for that for an adult is 17 pounds 50 pence and can be booked online with Scottish Canals if you have a little more time can plan and have a really deep interest in the engineering and history behind the wheel, there is a behind the scenes kind of a tour that happens at 10.30 and 2.30 at least once a month. These tours will include a short presentation inside the Falkirk Wheels Wheel Room Conference Suite, but will also have a guide that will take you around the site providing insight into the historic significance of the structure and we'll go inside the wheel 
where you will be climbing ladders and getting up into the inner workings of the mechanisms. Tickets are limited to eight people per tour and the cost for them is 110 pounds. You do get parking and a very exclusive goodie bag to go along with that if you're interested in this in-depth look at the wheel. It is suggested that the minimum age is 16 years old for safety reasons and also because the information being presented is fairly dynamic and fairly in depth. If you're in the area and just looking for some recreation, there is so much to do. There are rentals for stand up paddle boarding, self driving electric boat hires, canoes, there's archery, mini golf, bumper boats, paddle boats, water zorbing, that thing that you run around inside of a big bubble bike hires, a splash zone, a kids activity area, Segway tours, magnet fishing, as well as mini canoe and paddleboard trails between Glasgow and Edinburgh. To get a more in-depth look at the Falkirk wheel and the entire town of Falkirk, check out our other video that is a full length video about the whole city. We also have another shorter video just about the Kelpies because they're really close to the wheel. In fact, you can see them from the boats. They are another part of the amazing engineering and art that is the landscape of Falkirk. To know more about the town of Falkirk, we have a full video that's quite a bit longer. The Helix is sort of the park where the Kelpies are, and you can walk from the Helix to the Falkirk Wheel. You can also get to Calendar House and a bunch of other things, Falkirk, because there's quite a bit.